is it me or every time you see an interview not all the time but majority of the time you see an interview when the discussion is about relationship majority of the time it's always what men have to do i mean this 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 been going on from the days of ricky lake monte william oprah i mean you name it sally a lot of you may not remember sally but sally Every time the conversation of relationship comes up, it's always what man has to do to please the woman. Majority of the time, once in a while they may talk about okay what women need to do, but majority of the time it's always men got to do this. Men are not fulfilling their duties. Men are not fulfilling their responsibilities. Men are not doing this. Men are not pleasing women. When are we ever going to talk about what women are not doing in relationships? And the few times you do have brothers like Kevin Samuels, may he rest in peace, that talks about what men want. Women hated him for it. Every time a man comes out and says, yo, ladies, this is what men want, and this is what y'all need to do to please men, he becomes enemy number one. That's dealing with today's topic. I watched the show Eight at the Table. I'm a huge fan. Before I started my YouTube channel, I was a huge fan. Well, I'm still a huge fan, okay? And in today's episode, we are going to take a listen with this conversation again talking about what men responsibilities are when it comes to women let's get to it hello welcome to reactions and reviews i'm your humble host is thank you and i hope you enjoy the show i feel like a good father is just being there i think just be present be there you know teach provide whatever you have like my father didn't have much but he was in my life the whole time being a good father is not about money, it's about love, protection, direction, teaching. And I feel like that's why I got so much principle and so much loyalty. It's for my father. I'm loyal to the team. Women get the, uh, the appraisal for being a good mom, being a single mom, and, and all these things, but a good father doesn't get any credit. You know, the responsibility for a father is so hard and it's so much of a tangible and intangible responsibility. What it sounds like to me is that the onus is on a man to make sure he creates a child with a good woman, with someone who is going to have a loving home, who's gonna be nurturing to that child, who's not gonna be on some bullshit, who's not gonna wreak havoc in the household. I feel like that um, goes both ways because there's a lot of men who have child- We're talking about men. I know that, but like, you know, I feel like that's a general statement. If we speak on a general statement, then you have to take into consideration of the counterparty and women need to make sure that they have children with good men. But have you guys noticed something? What they're talking about is fathers from the 40s, 50s, and 60s that are now in their 60s, someone in their 70s, some in their 80s. See, in those days, those guys were your average men. They went to work, some were carpenters, work, some were mechanics, some were electricians, some were plumbers. See, they went to work and some worked at the factory. They went to work, put in eight hours, came home and took care of the house. See, women from those days, that was good, that was cool. But in today's society, what they're not talking about, in today's society, women don't want those kind of men, you see? Women do not want your average man. The guy that's making 40K, 50K, 60K, 70K. Women of today, modern women like them that are talking, they wouldn't want a regular guy like that. They would prefer the 666. I mean, you all know what I mean. Anyway, let's keep going. The men today, they're not as handy as, for an example, my father. Like, my dad is a roofer. He's always had hard jobs, hard work. Is but that that's my personal Could that's that be my work personal smart, thing. not oh. versus hard? But that's because now I feel like, yeah, you can call someone to put up a, you know, a, a, wall we, a, a, a whatever. But that to me, yeah. it's like, so I don't know why it's so attractive and it makes me feel so happy to see like my dad's still doing that for my mom. A man's job is to get it done, right? Right. I did it, or I called the handyman. I got it done. I so why am I less old, of a man? Maybe that's like no. I don't think it's less of a man. I'm saying it's the men are different today. Yes, I disagree. Man. It's less of a man. I'm sorry. I went on a date with a guy, and he was like, "Yeah, um, I wanted to get my TV put up. I had to call this guy." And he canceled on me, and I was like, "You can't put up your." Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 mm. like what I'm me, saying. I had that's a not... job where I had to take down and put up pipes. Okay, I I basically could do plumbing work. So if a man comes to me talking about he can't put up a TV. For you, 19 percent of women that watch my content, do you see how she feels? It's it's a turn off. The man is less than. 
just because he can put up his own television. Now, imagine me saying a woman ain't no woman if she can't cook and clean. If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. Women always expect men to be 100%. He got to provide. He got to pay the bills. He got to protect. He got to do this. He got to be good in bed. He got to please me. He got to cater to me. They never say as a woman what their roles are. And when a man comes out and say, yo, I'm not going to rock with you because you don't cook and clean. Oh, he, much, he, he toxic. Toxic masculinity. Oh, yeah, he this. He this. He's controlling. He, do you see what I'm saying? This sister just right here just said a man is less than a man because he cannot put up a TV screen. Not all men are handy like me. I don't know nothing about cars. So if a woman is with me and the car breaks down, we are fucked because I don't know nothing about cars. Does that make me less, than, less of a man? Even though I can pick up the phone and call AAA or pick up the phone and call a mechanic. Hey, yo, this happened in my car. Come tow it to the shop. Does that make me less of a man? If I pick up the phone, call someone to come pick up my car or my truck on a highway because it broke down. But to her, because I don't know how to fix my car, I'm less of a man. Do you see how insane that sounds, ladies and gentlemen? Do y'all see that? But these are the same women that will have a good man, a good man that will provide for her, love her, protect her, take care of her. Just because this man is not handy. I don't want him. He doesn't know how to put up a, a flat screen. Do you see that? And then you ladies wonder why the good men are going outside. Why the good men are looking at white women. Why the good men are looking at Asian women? Why the good men are looking at like, you know, Hispanic women? Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's keep going. If I'm a boss and I'm running all these different types of businesses and maybe I'm not super successful, but maybe I'm making six figures a year running my businesses and I'd never spend the time to learn how to be a handyman, now I'm less of a man. But if I'm a person who has a lot of time doing handyman things and something breaks around the house and I can fix it, but I only make $60,000 a year, I'm too broke to be with a high value woman. So it's so unfair when we talk about the responsibilities of a man and then we put it into what he could do. Yeah, like what he could versus what he does. My thing is if a man gets the job done, he gets Get the it. job done. I don't care how you have to do it. If I have to run 10 companies, and now that 10 companies allows me to pay for somebody to put the TV on the wall, just be happy you got a brand new flat screen TV on the wall. Man, shout out to Rico. Shout out to Rico. You know, what he says, 100% accurate. Like I just said, if my car broke down on the freeway and I don't know nothing about cars, as long as we're not stranded, do you understand what I'm saying? If I can pick up the phone and call Uber, call a mechanic, yo, come to my truck and get it fixed. Call it Uber and we still get to our destination. What is wrong with that? Ladies and gentlemen, what is wrong with that? For you 19% of women that watch my content, I always say this to you ladies. Good women, women that know their roles, women that know what they're supposed to do, women that have the man's happiness at heart, those women are snatched up. Those women are married. They're not single. The ones that are single, like this sister right here, they are the ones that's, that's single because they don't know what they want. That means like they want a perfect man, which does not exist. There's no such thing as a perfect man man and a lot of sisters they always say well i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm not gonna settle i'm gonna wait and what happens they keep waiting till they hit 50 some hit 55 the perfect man still don't come why because of this mentality now what do you guys think do you agree or do you disagree either way leave your comments below so we can start this conversation until the next video stay safe in the streets later now we wrap it up for today's episode and thank you for joining me so please leave a comment uh, below if you agree if you disagree it doesn't matter leave the comment below and also you tell me what you want me to cover you tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to okay and that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you on the next episode please don't forget to subscribe 
let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.